I'm Doug Christensen, and I'm the Chancellor at the University of Nebraska at Kearney, and I've been the Chancellor here since 2002. And prior to that, I served in the Nebraska Legislature uh, from 1989 until 2002. Oh, I think there's no doubt that the Universal Service Fund and the policy that accompanied that has been very successful for Nebraska. It has given us a wide diversity of products and it's given them to absolutely every Nebraskan. Now we're seeing a whole different revolution of, of products that would have never been possible had we not done these things in the mid-90s. In the mid-90s, uh, the federal government deregulated the telephone industry, which was a huge chain. Uh, and at that point in time, uh, telecommunications were really controlled by uh, some regional uh, giants and uh, there was great competition in some of the larger communities and that was true of Nebraska as well and clearly in the Omaha and Lincoln area there were, uh, were pockets of competition, new products being brought in, but for the state of Nebraska as a whole that wasn't true and so as deregulation occurred at the federal level, one of the options were for the states to adopt their own state universal service fund that would help us with competition and to bring services and to bring new products, quality maintenance of uh, telecommunications to the entire state of Nebraska. It was very attractive to me. I realized that in the, in the mid-90s, uh, cell phones and uh, texting and internet services to smartphones, none of those things existed. We knew that they were in the future, people hinted about them, but it really uh, was not going to be possible for Nebraska unless we had some way to incent that. We never thought about bringing services to schools or to have uh, libraries have preferential rates to bring services to local communities. So that was sort of the vision of the Universal Service Fund was to, to provide this for the entire state. I think there's a great benefit to urban Nebraska and eastern Nebraska to have connectivity with rural Nebraska and its access to people and resources. Uh, take for example in, in some of the health areas. Uh, to be able to bring health services to rural Nebraska actually helps the urban areas because they're running out of clinical space. Well there's lots of clinical work, uh, numbers of people to be served out here that can be served at a lower cost and still provide valuable training for healthcare providers in eastern Nebraska, the medical center, and so on. And so the relationship in the state of Nebraska between rural and urban is dissolved a little bit because of our connectivity and the ability to, to use uh, voice and video and internet services. Uh, I think it makes us a stronger state, but it also allows access to the rich resources of rural Nebraska. Well, you know, we were really concerned about the haves and the have-nots in Nebraska. And that if we were going to have a, a, a vital, robust state economy, we needed the ag sector be as successful as Omaha. We needed uh, the opportunities to be here for everybody to, to participate in, in the new things that were coming and the new technologies. Uh, I think we're so spoiled today because we, we didn't dream about these things in the mid-90s. We didn't know that we were going to have iPads and minis and tablets and that my smartphone was going to be able to do more things than the, the computer that sent the uh, man to the moon. But we knew that something was coming and that those are available to all Nebraskans. We take it for granted that we have these things today. Well, if we didn't have the Universal Service Fund in Nebraska, we would not have those services. We would be greatly retarded in our opportunities and we would have had to rely on the federal government with their universal service fund to have to help us out. That was never going to happen. We took the initiative, I think, correctly in Nebraska to assess all of us a small fee to take away some of the inherent subsidies to increase competition the increased competition gave us opportunities for better service, more diverse devices, and today really have an appetite uh, for high quality telecommunications. I think that's really exciting for Nebraska. 
and uh, I would hope that we could keep that up. The future for Nebraska is clearly to continue to push forward for high quality services for all Nebraskans. And I think that we can do that. So if we want to have distance education in Nebraska, if we want to have a connection of global marketing, if we want to have access to good health care, all of that's going to require uh, a universal service fund to give us high quality services to make those possible. As we look at a number of things that probably uh, we have no control over, and that's going to be technology. We're not going to be able to gauge the growth and, and what's coming new, but we need to be ready for it. And I think that's what the Universal Service Fund can do. And I think it's very important for people to have the discussion again about why the Universal Service Fund, what can it do for Nebraskans, and to keep an eye that we're one Nebraska, that we're an entire state, and we all benefit by having every Nebraskan have access to these services.